Hi everyone and welcome back to the IT Hub. This lesson is another in the series of Food and Rum Festival SBA. We are going to be looking today at how to create the three queries that fall under task C. Now the first query says you are to create a list of locations with projected attendance greater than or equal to 2000. You are also to save that query as projected attendance. When you are going to create a query, the first thing you need to do is to click on the Create tab, and from the Queries group, click on the Query Design icon. Having done that, the Show Table dialog box will appear in the middle of your screen. You now need to decide, based on the query that you are ask, being asked to do, to select the appropriate table. And in this case, it is going to be the events table based on the fact that we have been asked for the locations where the projected attendance is greater than or equal to 2000. Therefore, I'm gonna click on the events table and click the add button. Alternatively, you could just simply double click on the events table. Once I do that, once I do that, the table will be added to the query grid or above the query grid. At this point in time, you need to add the relevant fields for creating a query to the grid. I'm going to need the location as well as the projected attendance. So I can add the fields three ways. I can double click, which I just did a while ago. I can drag and drop, or I could select the field from the list in the column here. I don't need this fielding. I was using it for demonstrations. So I'm going to cut it out. We only need location and projected attendance. The criteria says attendance greater than or equal to 2,000. So we go ahead, put in the criteria greater than sign equal to 2,000. Once you have entered the criteria and everything is okay with the query, you go ahead and under the design tab on in the results group, you click on run. Once you have done that, your results from the query should appear. All you need to do at this point in time is to right click on the query tab click on save and type the name of the query, which in this case is projected attendance. Click okay, and that's it for the first query. Now it's time to do query number two, which asks us to show all organizations that sponsor a jerk fe festival event with an attendance greater than 500, save as jerk festival. In this particular query, we have two criteria. So the attendance has to be greater than 500 and the event must be some form of jerk festival. How do we do this query? We're gonna follow this same similar steps that we used before by going to the create tab, clicking on query design. We have to add the events table, sponsor table. So we're gonna add the sponsor table first, then the events table. But notice there's no relationship that exists between sponsors and events. The relationship that exists, exists between the sponsorship deals table and the sponsors and the events table. So we have to add the sponsorship deals table to create that link between the two tables. And I'm going to click on the close button and I'm going to know add the different fields. So we need the organization and that's the first thing. And we're taking that from the sponsors table. Then we're going to need the event name and we're taking that from the events table. And we're going to need the projected attendance and we'll take that from the events table. We need to now put in our two criteria, which for the projected attendance is going to be greater than 500. And for the event name is going to say some form of jerk festival. We're, what we're gonna be using for these students is a wild card. So the wild card operates like this. You, you know a part of the name for the event, but remember some of the different locations have different types of jerk festivals. So what you're going to do is you're gonna use be using the asterisk to replace the other parts of the name. Because the jerk festival comes at the end, we're gonna put the wild card using the asterisk to do that at the beginning. So we type asterisk and then we're going to type jerk festival. It is important students that you type up jerk festival exactly the way you have typed in the events table. If you do it incorrectly, you will not get any correct results. All right, so here are our two criteria. I'm going to now run the query and mine has come up with only one organization. I'm going to go ahead again and save the query as jerk festival. And click okay. 
And that is your jerk festival query. All right, guys, so we're down to our last query. And it says, event organizers recognize that events kept in St. Catherine cost more than events in the other parishes. And as such, sponsorship amount was increased by 12%. Create a query to show this new amount. Use an appropriate field name. Save as sponsorship increase. Now, there is more than one way we could do this query, students. We could have used an update query but we're not going to do that. Incidentally, before I can do this query, I'm going to make a change to the sponsorship table. So let me, I'm gonna make that change and show you before we actually do the query. So correction about that guys, I said sponsorship table a while ago. I really made the sponsorship deals table. Um, it should have a column called or a field called total sponsorship. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly make that change to the table. And to do that, I right click on the table and go to design view. I'm going to go ahead and quickly add total sponsorship as a new field. And I'm going to show you how quickly, and I'm going to set the data type to currency, but I'm also going to show you how quickly you can um, not just import the data, but copy the data from spreadsheet and paste it into Microsoft Office Access. So once I've done the necessary currency and the small places, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the data sheet view. And we're going to see the column is blank. So what I'm going to do now is go to my spreadsheet and I'm going to bring up my spreadsheet. And this is a column for total sponsorship. I believe they should be in the same order. If you compare the two sides, Yes, they, they are not in the same order. Let me see. Everything is in the same order except for the last two. The last two are switch around. So what I'll do is when I paste the data, I'll just switch around the figures. But aside from that, just double check to ensure that your sponsor IDs are in the same order. If it's, they're not in the same order, then you can't do what I'm doing. You're going to have to enter them one by one. But I can safely do that. So I'm going to highlight the total sponsorships, right click and copy from my spreadsheet. And I'm gonna open up my database and then I'm going to highlight the entire column inclusive of the field name. I'm going to right click and then I'm going to paste, right? And it will tell you how many records and I'm gonna say yes. And all I will do now because these two are switched around, I'm going to just change this to 100 and then change this one to 50, 150. And there we have it. So now that we have added the additional field, we are ready now to do the last query. And let us look again at the wording of the last query. It says we are to increase the sponsorship amount by 12%. This query is going to be a calculated field query. So I'm going to, let me close the sponsorship deals table first. I'm gonna, let me add it and then I'm going to close this and then close it here. I don't want to have it open while I am working on the query. So here's our query. Because it is a calculated field query, we're going to have to add the total sponsorship field and then we're going to create a new field. Now that new field, should be called, and it's not it's not stated here. So you're asked to give an appropriate name. So I'm going to give um give it a name. Sponsorship increase. I'm gonna call it that. When you are doing a calculated field query, there are some things that you need to pay attention to. So you have the name of the field followed by the colon, and the colon is just like in math class, if you were saying something is equal to something, right? So we're saying pretty much that sponsorship increase is equal to, and we need to say what the calculation is. We are going to be increasing the total sponsorship by 12%. Whenever you're typing a field name in a calculated field query, you need to type out the field name exactly as it appears, whether it's capitalization or spaces, everything has to be exact. Now, also, you need to include the 
field name in square bracket. So I'm going to open the square bracket. I'm going to type total sponsorship. And please note that I'm typing total sponsorship exactly as it appears in the table. I'm going to close my square bracket and just double check on the spelling and how it appears. And all I'm going to do now is put in my asterisk and I'm going to multiply it, increase it by 12%. No, remember 12% is 12 over 100. And the original figure would have been 100%. So if you increase the original figure by 12%, that means the final figure is going to be 112%, which means I can simply multiply this figure by 1.12 because 112% is really 112 divided by 100, which is 1.12. You could alternatively have divided the 12 by 100 and multiply by the total sponsorship but that's, that's too long. But if you want to do that, that's your choice. If that's how you understand it, that works as well. So I'm going to just leave this as it is. And I am going to save the query. And we're going to look to see what the figures were before. And then when we run the query, see what the figures are afterwards, all right? So let me save the query first. And it was supposed to be called sponsorship increase. It's a good idea to look to see what your query, sorry, your table looked like before you run the query. So let me open my sponsorship deals table. Now let's pick a sponsor, let's pick the first one. So the first one is 25,000. When we increase this by 12%, it should no longer be saying 25,000, it should be saying something else. So let us run the query. And here it is. So I double click on the query. And if you notice, it creates a new column called sponsorship increase with the increased figure. Now I'm going to go back to my query by clicking, right clicking on the name of the query at the top and go to design view. There are a few things that I would like to do with the query, right? I'm going to right click on the column and I'm going to click on properties and I'm going to set the format to currency and the decimal places to two. When I make the change and run the query now, Notice the difference, it has a dollar sign and it has the decimal places set to two as well. So this marks students the end of your queries, three easy queries. If you have found the video informative and useful, I notice that you guys are not giving a thumbs up to the videos, give the video a thumbs up, man, and share the videos with your classmates so that they can also be able to complete their SBAs on time. In our next lesson, we're going to be looking at the, the report for the SBA.